Welcome to day 25 of Advent. Um, this year, um, Advent has 26 days, um, right? Advent includes Christmas Eve until sundown. Um, so, so those days before Christmas Day. Uh, we are now in the New Testament talking about stories leading up to the birth of Christ. And today we are going to talk about, um, about John. Um, John, whom we will be, come to know as the Baptist. Uh, but today we'll learn about his birth and um, the song that his father sings. So we read um, from the first chapter of Luke starting at the 57th verse. I'm going to include all of um, Zechariah's song. Um, so it um, is 57 through 80. I am reading from the Message Translation of the Bible, a modern language um, version by Eugene per Peterson. Who knows what that was. When Elizabeth was full term in her pregnancy, she bore a son. Her neighbors and relatives, seeing that God had overwhelmed her with mercy, celebrated with her. On the eighth day, they came to circumcise the child and were, call and were calling him Zachariah after his father. But his mother intervened. No, he is to be called John. But they said, no one in your family is named that. They used sign language to ask, ask Zachariah what he wanted him named asking for a tablet. So um, because Elizabeth was an old woman and um, she was pregnant and the angel told um, Zachariah that she would have this baby, Zachariah did not tr trust the angel, did not believe the angel. Um, like Mary had questions for the angel, but er she believed the angel, but Zachariah did not. So God said, well, we'll keep you silent for a while. So that's why they have to do sign language in trying to communicate with Zechariah here because he can't speak. Asking for a tablet, Zechariah wrote, his name is to be John. That took everyone by surprise. Surprise followed surprise. Zechariah's mouth was now open his tongue loose, and he was talking and praising God. A deep reverential fear settled over the neighborhood, and in all that Judean hill country, people talked about nothing else. Everyone who heard about it took to it to heart, wondering, what will become of this child? Clearly, God had his hand in this. Then Zechariah was filled with the Holy Spirit and prophesied. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He came and set his free people free. He set the power of salvation in the center of our lives and in the very house of David, his servant, just as he promised long ago through the preaching of his holy prophets, deliverance from our enemies in every hateful hand, mercy to our fathers as he remembers to do what he said he'd do, what he swore to our father Abraham, a clean rescue from the enemy camp, so we can worship him without a care in the world, made holy before him as long as we live. And you, my child, prophet of the highest, will go ahead of the master to prepare his ways, present the offer of salvation to his people, the forgiveness of their sins. Through the heartfelt mercies of our God, God's sunrise will break in upon us shining on those in the darkness, those sitting in the shadow of death, then showing us the way one foot at a time down the path of peace. The child grew up healthy and spirited. He lived out in the desert until the day he made his prophetic debut in Israel. God's up to amazing things using unusual people in unusual places. Nothing spectacular about these people. They're ordinary, called to trust and believe 
in the things that God tells them. And so we hang on our tree on this 25th day of Advent, um, a little seashell um, that reminds us not so much of the birth of John, um, but that John will become John the Baptist um, in his adult years. Have a good day.